Welcome to the Whiskey Trap. I'm Daniel. Nope, nope, nope. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> I didn't catch it either. Okay. Uh, this is Catoctin Creek. Catoctin Creek. Yeah, one of these yeah. we've done before. Yes. Um, which is the Stiller's Edition Catoctin Creek, but we're going to do it again for reasons. Uh, this is a gift from patron Saint William Shepard, but in this one, he's a benevolent bastard. William Shepard, you patron benevolent bastard! <laughs> Okay, uh, and then the next one is from Magnificent Bastard, Tom Everly. Tom Everly, you Magnificent Bastard! So we've done these guys before, it's Virginia, Copper Pot Still, Rye Whiskey, right? Now what we got originally, and I'm gonna start with the 80 proof okay. single barrel. Sure. We've done one of these single barrels before, but it wasn't this one. They won double gold in 2018, two years ago, okay. evidently. Huh. I, I got like an interesting, there's a minerality. Yeah, last time we got like a black loam okay. earth note. Ah. And uh, we also got like a fermented funk. I'm not getting the funk anymore. This isn't a cliched nose. No, it's this, not. Yeah, this is it's a... It's not baking spice only. Yeah. It's not licorice. Yeah, this is it's different. not sweet tea. Mm-hmm. And what was the category you said? It's rye. It's just wow. rye. Wow. Wow. Copper pot still rye. I mean, the nose is deep and rich and oily. Yeah. I could see why and, and, a whiskey judge would be a fan of this nose. I don't know. If he's, look, if he's a fan of things that are coloring outside the lines, mm -hmm. doing something special. Because you want it to be like you know, unique, different, interesting. Um, at least I do. Yeah. Uh, well, at the same time, enjoyable. Because you can make things that are just like weird and funky, but it's just at the end of the day, you don't really enjoy drinking it. So far on the nose, I really like this. It feels okay. special, but also I like it. Compare it to the 92 proof. Mm -hmm. I can see how they're the same distillery. Yeah, once again, that even the 92 proof doesn't bat down any of the same mm -hmm. lines. And then there's like a little bit of a, like a nutty quality on the 92 proof, you said? Yeah. Yeah, it adds- it Almost adds, almonds. I was gonna say like some mixed nuts. Like you open up a can of yeah. mixed nuts. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, I'm gonna try the 80. Shaolin Shadow Boxing. And the Wu Tang Sword Style. Oh, there oh. it's more like rye. In the mid palate. There's more recognizable things. Yeah, it's more familiar ground. But it's still not cliche. No. I think it's a dry rye for me. Mm hmm. And. Oh, come back to the nose now. Now it starts to show more of the oh. rye grain notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit more sweetness too on the nose after you get. Get it in ya. Mm -hmm. Do you think your Wu-Tang sword can defeat me? And now I'm starting to uh, find some mixed nuts on the 40%. After you oh, get it in ya. It's on the um, it's on the oil residue. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah? And then you go back on the taste. I'm on the 40%. You diddle it. Diddle it around a little bit. Do not doing the... Diddle it around. Just, here, watch you take it, and then you. It's a diddle. Ah, it's so unappetizing. Well, I have to show you visually. Usually, it's so unappetizing. Usually, I do this with my mouth closed. The visual aid is to help you. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm it's gonna try the like, 92. Your tongue is like this. <laughs> That's the visual aid. Yeah. Okay. And then, like, if my if my hands are the tongue and you're the flavor. Mm -hmm. No, God! <laughs> <laughs> then you're the flavor. <laughs> there, I'm going to the 92, you said? Mm hmm Oh, that one. There's all the rye, black, honeyed tea notes that I get showing up. Yeah, and then I also get almost like a darker, sweeter, almost a molasses note that shows up. Yeah, but still like a waxy walnut finish. Yeah, you had to dig into it a little bit, start pulling out these sweeter elements. Yeah. Because it doesn't start out on the nose and on the initial approach. It doesn't start out as uh, it, as it just a naturally sweet whiskey, but it, it unlocks some things. There's some layers down there. You know what I like about this? Yeah. It's drier. The 92 is much drier. On the 80, it just feels like a classy whiskey. 
Yeah. Like it's not overly complex. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice richness to it. And I think this would be, I, the, the thing that I think is bringing it right is that herbal note right in the middle after mm -hmm. you get into the taste. It's yeah. the herbal ray note, but around that you have these really interesting, fairly unique things dancing around. Well, and I think I would classify this as a steakhouse whiskey. So you're right? comparing it with a big old... I'm comparing it with like a really well done fancy steakhouse, but it's that's just a classic meal. Hold on. Right? Like you're not going to go to a five star restaurant that only does steaks. You say well done steakhouse, not well done steak. Not well done steak. Just a steakhouse where it's like, it's not out back. Okay. Right? right? It's like a legit steakhouse. Right. Right? For us like Roaring Fork or, okay. or True Lux or, yeah, yeah. you know, um, where it's just, they're just doing really good classic mm -hmm. fine dining. Yeah. Right? And this whiskey would just fit right into that super classic upscale, nice Did you put water presentation. Wine? I didn't. Okay. Because I lost the sweetness. Mm. I lost the sweetness and it's different. Maybe I'm acclimating to the sweetness. No, adding water adds the sweetness back. Okay. Right now that 92 for me is super dry. Okay. But if I add a dash of water to that 92, the sweetness comes back. It's so sweet. Oh, and the 80 disappears with a little bit of water. Yeah, it's already at the floor. Don't touch, don't touch that. Well, that's water. an interesting point. Um, the 80 proof, it's already mm -hmm. proof to the floor, but this is the 80 proof. Mm -hmm. But um, for that low of a proof, it had a lot of flavor. It had body. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I liked it. I actually prefer the 80 to the 92 without uh, water. Without water. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. I like that. I really like that. We have Dallas Bland, who came up with the fighting, stealing, and drinking toast. Ireland, too many generations ago for people yeah. to know. Yeah, but we, uh, we're starting to hit these questions again. How yeah. did this all start? And it really was, it's an Irish toast. There's a fourth line in there, and there's a couple at the end. Wait. But here's to fighting, stealing, and something, and drinking. Uh, cheating. Cheating. Yeah. If you cheat, may you cheat death. Yep. There's a line that's in there. Yeah, and we, uh, But we cut it for pacing. Cut it for pacing. Actually, Rex and cut then it for the pacing. Toastmaster back in the day, he turned us on to mm -hmm. that original toast. Um, yeah, and when we were in Ireland, we got to do that with a bunch of Irish people. We did. That was fun. That's pretty good. Yeah. Although they all did the cheating part and hassled us about cutting it. Yeah. It's like pacing people. Pacing. <laughs> uh, pudding war. I've never noticed Daniel's earring till now. Is that new? Or an everyday thing, twinkle, or have twinkle. I just not been paying attention before? Did you know that these specific earrings right. are now 23 years old? Okay. Have not taken them out except for when I had an MRI. Oh, uh, yeah, you gotta do that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's it. Only time I've ever taken them out was for hospital stuff in like, 23 years. If somebody were to ask me like two minutes ago, mm -hmm. does Daniel wear earrings? You wouldn't remember? I wouldn't be, I would have no idea. You know, at one point I had five. Was that with the frosted tips? Yeah. Oh, I was kidding. No, no, it was. Wow. I had two on down here. Right. Right. And then look right, see that hole? Yeah. I had one up top. That was a loop. Right. So, one point, one of them had a dangling feather. So, do they have special stores for douchebags? <laughs> yes. You, yes. Is there like a? It's called. Uh, is there a handshake? No, you, is there a special handshake? To I on? only I only shopped at Claire's, <laughs> at the mall. <laughs> for, for the douchebag. <laughs> yeah. It's a douchebag secret. <laughs> only if you're a guy. All the girls that are in there, it's it's like they're fine. But the guys that shop at Claire's. Back back when you had hair, <laughs> what was the worst haircut you ever got? Accidentally or intentionally? Uh, I, <laughs> when I was a kid, right. I fought for a rat tail and, <laughs> and got one. Yeah, no joke. Flat buzz, flat top rat tail about this long, right in the dead middle. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Wore it uh, with overall shorts with one strap off. I mean, you're already see if I like were to, white dye, like like stonewash. If you didn't say anything, yeah. I was just gonna glance at you, <laughs> rat tail, overall shorts, and like that beard, like it's flash forward, <laughs> flash forward to now. Should I do it again now? <laughs> you look like not just like a regular redneck guy. You look at like a Cajun redneck. Yeah. Oh no, that's true. Like a swamp redneck. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, that's I've got swamp redneck family. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. You got the Bayou. Oh blood. yeah. Oh yeah. If I. Dressed right, you can find me in a weird bayou swamp bar. 
sitting in the corner muttering un- indecipherable words right. and like sharpening a knife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just you look a little inbred is all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> all so Cajuns. Hey, don't, don't piss off the Cajuns. They're no joke. But they can't reach me on their fan boats. <laughs> I had a guy. Fan just, boats don't as go we're up almost there. done. I had a guy that we met in. Uh, you ever been on a fan boat? I have. Very loud. Had to wear ear head the gun headphones yeah. uh, or gun earmuffs. The um, so had a guy who was sitting at a gig with us one time at a bar, and he was sitting. We went to dinner at his family's house, and he's the most Cajun. But his house is on stilts in the swamp. You can only get to it with a with a canoe. Yeah. Or an airboat. Right. He parks his car under I-10 in one of like the public little turnarounds. Yeah. And then boats home. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. And uh, so we ran into him bar. off the grid. This guy looks terrifying. Right. And just sort of like, he looks like a, a weird Cajun gypsy. <laughs> Carries a Bowie knife this long slung between his shoulder blades on a rawhide necklace. Right. And he was telling us, we're at his house with his mom sitting next to him, like, knitting. Yeah. And he was telling us, oh, yeah, I was, went to, I was in the bar one time. And he told us the whole story about not killing a guy in a bar and going to jail. Right. With his Bowie knife. Cause not killing a guy? or Actually killing oh, a guy, yeah. Kidding. And going to jail, self-defense, so he was out. Right. Right. And we're looking, and he's telling us even crazier stories than that, if you can imagine it. And I look over at his mom. I'm like, you're telling these stories in front of your mom, right? I held him and down. She, no, and this is what she said. She hadn't said anything the whole night long. Yeah. She's sitting there and she goes, she looks at me and I look at her and I'm like, and she goes, oh, he's Cajun. <laughs> and then she went back to knitting. And that was it. That was the, that was the phrase that, that, uh, that, you know, covered all sins. Daniel. So we've always referred to you as like the Hobbit. Yeah. I think you're, you may actually be closer to the corrupted Hobbit. The corrupted Hobbit. Is a Cajun a corrupted hobbit? Well, I mean... You mean like, get, like what, what's the... Ah, it's precious. Yeah. That's the corrupted hobbit. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to be... Is whiskey your precious? No, I don't know. I don't want to be that guy. I think you may be. No, no, I've got more... No, we just, just put it on the I'm not like hunched over and we like... Just put, a little, just put a little beard on that. Grabbing guy. fish. Yeah. Eating heads. Just put a little beard on him. Yeah. <laughs> I think we got it. <laughs> Terrifying. Here's to fighting, stealing a drink. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. Steal, but you're stealing a lever And if you drink, may, may you drink with us. us.